Hey, what's up? This is Eric from Satisfied Incorporated. And today I wanted to go over speedometers in the classic BMWs. Uh, first, if you guys are looking for parts for classic BMWs or looking for three piece wheels, um, check out my website. I obviously don't make any money off these videos, but I, I love sharing the information because uh, shared information is how I learn. And I also want to just pass the knowledge along. But uh, if you wanted to check out some cool parts, uh, you know, maybe order some wheels, like I say, something like that. Just uh, check out the website, like I say, satisfiedincorporated.com. Uh, you could also, you know, like the video or subscribe, or whatever we're doing, or not, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to talk about these speedometers in the classic BMWs. So I just did my E30, and it's very common for these things to strip out the gears. This one's got stripped out gears. Uh, so this one needs to be replaced. So in my E30, I replaced these and then I threw the speedometer back in and I was expecting everything to work. And the speedometer actually worked. It was the odometer, which is these are the odometer gears. If I said that wrong, the odometer still didn't work. And so it was kind of disappointing. So I had to figure out why. And uh, upon much searching, uh, basically everybody just said, well, you got to check it out because there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Um, and you know, I believe that to be true, but I wanted to share what I found my problem to be, uh, and maybe that'll help you out. So anybody with a keen eye might see that this is not actually, uh, an E30 speedometer cluster. This is off, uh, my E23. And the reason I'm not showing you the E31 is because I've pulled that thing out multiple times to fix it, and I'm done pulling it out. But uh, this E23 is very similar. In fact, I think it might even work. That was my plan if I couldn't get the E31 to work, because I was going to try one of these E23 ones. Um, so if you're kind of running into problems, you know, and if you've got E23, E24, E28 uh, clusters sitting around, you might want to try them. So. Like I said, first off, these are your gears, and this is what runs your odometer. So if you replace those, I replaced them, and then I spun them, and then I made sure, you know, I went like over a mile, and I made sure there was no binding in the gears. If there's no binding in the gears, it's kind of like, well, what, what's going on now? Um, and so this is, see if I show you, so this is where the smallest gear comes in, and the smallest gear will turn all these big gears. So the smallest gear, I don't know if you can be able to see it. The smallest gear, there's a rod that goes across. So now this rod comes into this. And this is a magnet in here. And this thing's like a motor. So this thing spins the gears. So like I said, you could have a lot of problems. I guess a lot of problems were found in like solder joints and blah, 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 et cetera in here. But I'm just showing you my issue. Um, I knew that this, this gear wasn't turning. And then, so this is the, the coil that runs the, uh, the, basically this is the motor. And these are the windings for the motor. One, two, three legs coming off these windings. So this, all these windings into here, which makes a motor, is all just coming on these three legs. So when I looked on my three legs, which are these three, these three here, what I did is mine actually kind of looked burned a little. And so I kind of knew that might be a problem. So I pulled out my multimeter. And then uh, if you don't know how to run a multimeter, you want to set it to the ohm setting. It looks like kind of like a Lululemon logo, like, you know what that looks like. Um, but you want to make sure that you're, you're plugged in the right place. You can check. If you touch both connectors, it should end up to zero, close to zero. So. What I did is I don't know what I'm doing right, but I went, in, I went in and I checked, and I just checked for continuity between the first pole and the second. There we go. Maybe that's better. So now you check this first leg to the second leg, and you're, you're roughly 75 ohms. And then if you go first leg to third leg, you're about 150 ohms. And that's how you know that all three legs are connected you know you could go to the second to the third too and i think you should be yeah you should be about 75 so 
first to second is 75, first to third is 150, second to third is 75. So it's, it's a 75 ohm separation through the three. So when I tested mine, my first leg to third leg was open, just like you're seeing on this screen here. Uh, and so I knew that I didn't have a good connection on my windings. So what I did is I unsoldered all these, which was actually unnecessary. I didn't need to, but I unsoldered all that and I pulled this all off uh, just so I could get a better look at it. But then deep in here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a camera angle on here. Deep in here, uh, you, you just have to figure it out on your own. But deep in here, there's like um, a wire connected to each post coming off this this winding. And it's really hard to see. I had to get it like a magnifying glass. And even with that, I couldn't get it. So I took a picture with my phone uh, and I could see one of the windings, one of the wires was not uh, completely connected. And that, so already being that deep in it, I had the option of, well, I couldn't replace these windings uh, in my E31 because it's a different setup. This is a, a VDO um, cluster where my other one's a motometer. So I don't know if the E23 VDO would be the same as an E30 VDO. But anyway, this wouldn't work for me. So I just kind of threw a Hail Mary. And what I did is I, I got a piece of uh, wire like this. You know, you can get a smaller piece of wire. And I just frayed it out like that. And then I took a single strand and I cut it with wire cutters. And then I, uh, I soldered very carefully the broken leg on this to that wire. And then I just kind of stuffed it down in there. I don't, it's so small. I don't know if you can get a piece of heat shrink on there, but um, I just kind of pushed it down out of the way. And then I soldered my new wire. I wrapped it around the terminal in here and then I soldered it. And when I put it all back together, I got my correct uh, 0, 75, 150 ohms. And uh, I just drove my car and it worked. So like I say, I know there's a lot of problems going on in here. Uh, that could cause your problem, your issues with your odometer or your speedometer not working. Um, but maybe that'll help somebody take a look at those windings, check your ohm, uh, your resistance ratings, and see if that's it. Um, and then just another side note, I actually was doing my E24, and it didn't have speedometer or odometer. And what I found on that is I looked at uh, these connections, which these connections here are what connect to the main uh, cluster board. And I just noticed that these were um, a little bit corroded and tip cleaners for my welder. And I just got the finest tip cleaner and I just ran it through, you know, all these holes like that, and was, like this. And then I got my um, Dremel with a wire wheel. I've got the cluster here. So I got the Dremel with a wire wheel. And then uh, I just got in here and I cleaned up all those contacts. And that actually ended up being the entire problem to my E24 not having speedometer or odometer issues. So I don't know if that'll help you. Um, there's two things that you can try though. So, you know, obviously you're looking for the gears to be good. Uh, you got to have the correct resistance readings in, that, in the motor windings. Um, you know, make sure that, make sure the small gear here is pushed all the way on and uh, mine was pushing the magnet out. So just make sure all that stuff's correct. Make sure it spins okay. And uh, I'm sure there's probably other issues that you could run into, but maybe that'll get you going and maybe other people will find that that was a problem with their uh, cluster also. So I'm not an expert on the E30 at all. I'm not an expert on these clusters at all, but uh, like I say, I'm just throwing information out there because if I would have saw somebody that found this, uh, it would have been really helpful just to at least brainstorm and find other problems. So hope you enjoyed the video. Like say, uh, you know, if you're looking for classic BMW parts, uh, check out the website, satisfiedincorporated.com or, uh, you know, check me out Facebook, Instagram on there, obviously, uh, YouTube. So check it out and, uh, thank you for watching.